Okay, let me just start off by saying, say a prayer for these people and do whatever you can to help. And I, asked, I think I understand why this thing collapsed the way it did. And this was a collapse. It wasn't pulled apart. At first I thought they must be pulled apart to make this huge cavity. How could there be a huge cavity? There was a huge, there was a huge cavern underneath and it collapsed. And this red stuff is the key to everything. This, is, this is, was biology. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm going to show you and I think you'll be able to see. It's, it just has to be understood for what it is. It's spectacularly crazy. I, I agree. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is biology. Okay, my friends. I've been looking at the um, earthquake in Turkey, and I think I have some pretty solid information here. Now, this is drone footage shows huge surface destruction caused by earthquake in Turkey. And it's a continuous line of a shift. Where you can obviously see it's done either that's going this way or this is going that way i believe this is going this way but it's it's an obvious separation now that i'm going to tell you right now i looked at this carefully and that my friends is muscle sarcomeres and this is what muscle sarcomeres are and they can shift like this you see how this one shifted over a little bit normally they're nice and straight like that but once they shift, they can do that. And that's exactly what happened. You see this? Those lines were coming down, and then they shifted over. Basically as simple as that. You see them? They were coming down, and then they shifted over. And this whole thing runs, basically the whole line runs the same thing. I'm just going to cut forward because it's all the same thing coming down. But it's a very long line of a tear in a muscle and it comes way out here and then eventually it hits where the gigantic crack is in the earth let's take a look at that I know this is like over the top shocking and, and but it's just if it's true it's true and I go for truth and I'm going to tell you right now, these stripes and these blocks, those are sarcomeres. And these little blocks that are laying all over the place are broken off muscle sarcomeres. And this pile of red dust right here, I believe, was where the artery was. And all of that ran out eventually at some point from erosion underneath, and then it collapsed. And I have a specimen here in my shop very similar to what this is. All right. Check at this, check this out. This is where a bone was. And then there's a piece of tendon and it goes to a muscle. And then this cavity here, you really can't see it, but here it is up here, was filled with red blood. You see this red blood here? That whole thing was completely filled at one point with red blood. It eroded out of there because red blood easily erodes out. That's the hematite. It, it runs out into red clays. And this, I believe, is exactly what happened in Turkey. Underneath the ground, they didn't realize that that one specific spot with all the blood that was collected under there had eroded away and everything just caved in. At first, when I looked at it, I thought, boy, it must have stretched out. But I don't think that happened. I think it just caved in. So there had to be a huge cavity under here. And that literally is identical in my mind because I can also see the sarcomeres. So it was a muscle assembly there at some point, and it obviously had to be fed with red blood. And I believe that's what happened, is that artery finally washed its way out, and the whole thing collapsed. Now, if you haven't been watching my stuff, you're going to say I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. These are the kind of things that exist on Earth. This is Vermilion Cliffs, and that, my friends, is also what this is, which is stomach lining of course I think it's the exterior of the stomach but it's a fr uh, from the stomach and this is not 150 million years or whatever in one picture this is one dead body which didn't erode this one spot and I think I know why because this is the extreme portion of connective tissue right there this signifies to me that this was leading right up to a heavy tendon investment and the tendon investment is where 
the, the, like on my, my thing right here. This is the tendon. That's why that little piece is sticking up there because it's so tough compared to this eroded away stuff. That's what you need the red blood for is here. And this, I believe, eroded away and the whole thing collapsed from above. These are muscle sarcomeres here. You can't see them because they're t t sarcomeres are pretty tiny, as I showed you. And this is way down. You get way, way, way down into the, what the, the muscles are made of. They're just, it's unbelievable how elegant biology is. It's, it's really incredible. And the sizes of the creatures we're talking about is just staggering. Look at this. This is that stomach tissue again. Look at this guy standing up there. We have to step back and really take a look at what is really, you know, not just, oh, the guy's crazy. He's, he, that's all I've ever heard. I never heard one single statement that I'm wrong. I just hear I'm crazy. How can anybody think that? How could anybody's mind go that far? Well, I look at the reality I'm faced with. And then I start thinking about it. <laughs> I don't just walk away because it's too much for my mind to handle. I mean, and here's the sarcomeres again. This is, a, this is all real stuff. And this is not just bogus research. And I have all the stuff. My stuff, my giants, which I have giant human beings, they're good DNA tested in CAT scan. And this is a woman's breasts. You see that? These are connective tissues. That's not just an accidental occurrence. Because this is what human breasts look like. This is the same anatomy. Only it's not quite eroded yet the same way. But here's the same biology. Only it's not in stone. And this one's solidified. And I, I, I figured out the process and all this. It's a nucleophilic substitution that happened in the Great Flood. Just like Velikovsky recorded. And it wasn't that long ago. These are all on the surface of the earth. So it, th these are not buried deep, deep, deep. They think everything's layered on top of layer on top of layer. That's not the case. This is not layer on top of layer on top of layer. This is one guy's body. And these are the different membrane layers. And then you get into connective tissue and down into the, probably were attached somewhere down in bone, deep down inside. And this was that, tenderness area, I believe, because that's really where it's tough. Otherwise, it's hard to understand why that one little piece would just stick up there. Anyway, um, I have so much on this that it's just staggering. Staggering. These are trees. <sighs> this is all biology, you know, and it's all muscle. I've been looking at this stuff for a very long time, and it's on Mars, it's on Earth, it's everywhere. See this here? That's all blocky muscle. Well, what's this? <laughs> blocky muscle. We have to deal with what's in front of our face instead of just turning away and saying, no, 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 we can't look at that because it's just too much for us. A muscle mountain. This is all the connective tissue where it's starting to go into the muscle and the muscle turns red and it gets gooey and all the roads. Okay, I just want to be sure. I, I think I forgot to mention this was from ITV News and um, they don't have any any uh, comments turned on. But I, I, If somebody wanted to talk to me about it, I'd be interested. And I do want to talk to Dutch. Let me show you something. Okay, I want to talk to Dutch, if I could, at Duchesne. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, he's, he does earthquakes all around our Earth. And I have been following those and trying to relate them to biology. And as I have shown you in Turkey, you know, as terrible as it is, there's, you have to figure out why. And that's what I do, is to try to figure out things, why things happen. And I think he's exactly the same way. That's what I'm being told. And he's, he was asking for somebody to comment, and these are my comments. And I'd love to talk to you, Dutch. My name's Roger, and uh, I'll have my email on there, and I'm hoping people will get a hold of you so that we can discuss this. Because this is very, very, very interesting information about these different 
how many earthquakes there's been and how I believe that's what he does but that's what I want to talk to him about this was, it appears to be seismic activity anyway I'm gonna leave it at that and please pray for those people in Turkey and, and Syria Syria is even worse there's very little aid I believe going into there so count your blessings my friends <laughs>